Hi, my name is Dexter Clark from the Netherlands and normally I do YouTube strategies on this channel. But today I'm looking at this webcam, the Conceptronic Andis. How usable is it as a webcam for Zoom and Skype and is it usable as a streaming webcam for YouTube and Twitch? This video is not sponsored, I had to buy the webcam myself, but I will put an affiliate link to Amazon in the description below. Let's go over some specs. This is a 1080p webcam in an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. It has a viewing angle of 90 degrees horizontally and vertically. It has a built-in microphone over here. It has a USB 2 USB B connection, a cable length of one and a half meters, a focal length of 3.6 millimeters, and a maximum frame rate of 30 FPS. But I doubt a little bit if that is true, but more on that later. To be honest, there's nothing much on the box. It says only here we're 1080p full HD webcam with microphone. So let's open it up. Okay, this is literally all there is to the webcam. There is an installation guide, which tells us that there is a microphone on the webcam. Woo! And yeah, there's nothing much here. And then of course the webcam itself. And that's the only thing that's in the box. There is no drivers or whatever. You can flex the webcam up and down and over here you can open it so you can place it on your monitor, for example. And of course the USB connection to connect it to your computer. The installation is quite easy. Plug it into your USB port and Windows gives you a pling plong. And after that, it tells you that you can use the device. On Mac it works the same, just plug in the webcam and it works. I tested it on both operating systems. So you can use the webcam with Zoom, Skype and OBS for streaming on YouTube and Twitch. The grip on the monitor is quite flimsy and an accident is waiting to happen. The cable is too rigid and pushes the webcam from its place. This way the webcam never rests on a standard but always leaning on the cable a little bit. You can adjust the angle up and down but not sideways. You have to turn your monitor for that. I expected problems with sharpness since that was one of the main areas why my Logitech webcam didn't suffice for streaming. But that wasn't the case. You can change the sharpness by turning the plastic super cheap feeling lens. Although I have to say that both background and foreground are sharp on the same setting. The anti-aliasing seems broken on the webcam. You have raw square pixels instead of smooth edges like any other webcam would have. I do see also some blue color shifting on white light sources. And the image looks like they cranked up the contrast filter in Photoshop way too high. Frame rates under good lighting conditions with softboxes are, uh, let's say, uh, stuttery. In normal daylight, the frame rate seems to be better with less light, which makes absolutely no sense to me. In less light, the frame rate and image quality are acceptable. Overall, the frame rates are a little bit on the low side, and I doubt that it is 30 frames per second like they advertise, even under good lighting conditions. My Canon EOS 3M system camera records at 25 frames per second, but seems a lot smoother. That may be not a fair comparison because the shutter speed might be different on both devices, but I've no way to check that on the webcam. Straight horizontal and vertical lines in the image are quite bent. It's your typical fisheye lens, which doesn't quite make a beautiful image. This increases viewing angle, but I would rather have had a lower viewing angle and less fishbowl. Then the uh, <laughs> microphone. I'm Dexter Clark from the Netherlands and I do YouTube tips, tricks and tutorials on this channel. This is a test to see if the microphone works and how well it works. What is the quality of the microphone? Needless to say, the quality of the audio is beyond bad and resembles more a medieval torture device. The audio seems to clip, but that isn't the case. I kept an eye out on the VU meters while recording this. You can see that the audio doesn't clip. These are the VU meters of the Concentronics webcam and I don't come in the red zone and still the, the audio quality seems to clip. The webcam is nothing to write home about, but what can you expect from a budget webcam? 
I do take some issues with the advertised frame rate, which isn't correct, but even more so with the bad, bad, bad audio quality. For Zoom and Skype calls, the image quality is quite okay, but the microphone is absolutely not. When you want to stream with it on Twitch or on YouTube, yeah, the image quality whoo, is a little bit on the low side and the microphone is an absolute no-go. If you want to start a YouTube channel or have a YouTube channel, then check out some of my other videos on this channel if you want to grow and get more views and more subscribers.